want it, get it, don't ever give up, you got it, you wanna make it, then chase it, no one can stop you, stop you, they're gonna hate you, hate you, but let them hate you, this fine, cause if they stand in your way, then you gotta leave them behind. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Sam or Burns and it is Bowl Week. So first off, you saw really fast right there. Braxton Miller is your Heisman winner in this bowl season. Your 25th ranked South Alabama Jaguars will be heading to New Orleans to play Southern Miss in the New Orleans Bowl in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the stat leaders so far this year uh, heading into this bowl game. We got, a, we got a few good seniors and a few key seniors, especially starting quarterback Brandon Bridge. Uh, coming in this game, playing their final game for this team. So it should be exciting. Uh, should be a good game. Southern Miss is a pretty good team. We've had a phenomenal year so far. We're out to an... Uh, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it an 11-2 start, but we're up to an 11-2 record. I think we've rattled off um, 8 or 9 straight wins so far, which is just absolutely ridiculous. And just, just to think how far we've come since being 6-6 six and six last year and missing a bowl game to going 11-2, potentially 12-2 this year. And in the top 25, it's, it's just, it's it's amazing. And, you know, a lot of you guys were asking, when do you think I'll finally be in the top 25? You know, you guys were surprised I wasn't in the top 25. Uh, granted, I was too, but I am now heading into bowl week. So we're looking at the first team All-Americans. Jay Jones is your first team All-American uh, at the running back position. As we continue to go down the All-NCAA, uh, Desmond Lavelle and Montel Gardner, as well as Terrell Brigham and Kyle Clifford rounding out that first team. Before we go ahead and move on to second team and see if we have any other guys there. I know there are uh, a couple Georgia State guys there as we go ahead and look through here. As you'll see, uh, Long right there at free safety is our lone guy on second team All-American. So we're going to go ahead and look at the awards. Uh, Montel Gardner is your award winner for the Bednarik Award, which is awesome. And you know, we'll continue to go through here and see the rest of the award winners. No one on my team yet. Um, as you could have guessed, Kyle Clifford does end up winning uh, returner of the year. So no surprise there with his seven kick returns for touchdowns. As we go ahead and look at the bowl picture so far heading to the game. Uh, head, not so far, but we look at the bowl games uh, for this bowl season. Georgia State is playing in the BBVA Compass Bowl against Auburn that should be a tough game Auburn's headed down here but we got to focus on this game against Southern Miss should be a good one let's take you to New Orleans for this New Orleans Bowl hi everybody Reese Davis with you bringing you the EA Sports NCAA football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan innovation that excites taking you inside the Louisiana Superdome for a final peek at warm-up before the New Orleans Bowl Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. So it is the final game of the season, the final game as Jaguars for our seniors. So we want to put forth a good effort, see if we can get this bowl victory. It is our first bowl appearance in this series so far. Uh, Georgia State had a bowl appearance last year in this very bowl game. So starting off, Weeks is back to pass. He will fire on the left side for Chris Briggs. That's a 16-yard gain for Briggs. So now a first down in 10 weeks is back to pass. He's hit as he throws, and it's intercepted. Terrell Brigham is going to take this one down around the 20-yard line. That's about the 23-yard line. That's the first turnover of the day. Giving the ball to Brandon Bridge and this offense. Bridge sets and throws. He finds Rush Hendricks, who will get down to about the 1.5-yard line, a 21-yard game for Hendricks. And that is his first catch of the day on in his last game of the season. And Brandon Bridge now handing off to Jay Jones, the first-team All-American, going to get in the end zone. That is a touchdown for Jones. Three-yard run for him. Doing it a 6-0 pending extra point lead for South Alabama. Good run right there by Jones. So a second down to five now. Weeks going to keep this one on the read option. He's got some room on the left side. And he is taken down. Cole Weeks, the eight-yard gain taken down right there by Long, the second-team All-American. So now third down and ten. Weeks back to pass. He will fire over the middle for Mason. And that is a first down right there on third and ten, a 13-yard gain for Max Mason. 
And that is his first catch of the day. So a first down to 10 now. Weeks going to hand off to Bracken on the right side. And he's got some space out across the first down. And he is taken down after a 16-yard gain. Tyree Bracken, or Bra Bracken? I want to say his name is Tyree Bracken. We're just going to call him that. Third down and one now. Cole Weeks back to pass. He fires a dangerous throw on the left side, but he does find Thompson. DJ Thompson with the five-yard catch for the first down. Now a third down and five. 5-17 remaining in the first quarter. Weeks back to pass. He will fire over the middle for Richard, who shakes a tackler and will get down to about the two-yard line. That's a 13-yard gain for Jalen Richards. So that brings up this first down and goal for Cole Weeks and this Southern Miss offense. Weeks back to pass. He will go over the middle for Cox. James Cox with the seven-yard touchdown catch. Is going to tie this game up at seven. So back to Brandon Bridge and this Jaguar offense who have been so prolific this entire year. And now Bridge going to scramble on the right side. He is out across the 30 and will step out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That's a 16-yard scramble for Brandon Bridge. Now a third down and 10. Bridge back to pass. And he is hit as he throws. But he finds Rush Hendricks deep. And he is tackled after a 29-yard gain. He is down to about the 36-yard line. That is his second catch of the day. So a second and four now. Bridge handing off to Jay Jones on the left side. He's got some space inside the 20, and he will be taken down at the 11-yard line. That is an 18-yard gain for Jay Jones. And now Brandon Bridge, play action pass to Kendall Houston. He will roll to his right side, sets, throws, touchdown to Wes Saxton. I believe he is also a senior. I'm not quite sure, but he has not played much this year. Uh, Rush Hendricks replaced him in the starting lineup from last year. He had a good year last year, but it's good to see him get a touchdown here. And right here on fourth down and one, Cole Weeks looking on the right side for his receiver. But that ball is dropped, but uh, the Jaguars couldn't do anything after that uh, fourth down turnover. So the Southern Miss, uh, I'm not sure what they are, the Golden Eagles, I want to say. They get the ball back, and right here on first and ten, uh, Tyree Bracken is going to take this one out across the 50. He's got some room. He's at the 30, and he is taken down. 35-yard gain for Tyree Bracken. He is having himself a day. Now Bracken on the right side. He's got some more room out across the 20, and he's taken down at the 15-yard line. Tyree with a big run right there and having a huge first quarter. But nonetheless, your 25th ranked Jaguars have a 14-7 lead over Southern Miss. So pretty good game so far. Uh, not much defense, but it's been pretty competitive. So we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, you know, in the last three quarters of this game. So a third down and four, four Cole Weeks. Firing on the left side for Max Mason, but he's taken down after only a two-yard gain, and that will force Southern Miss to have to kick a field goal right here. Cole Weeks having a pretty good first half so far, 13-20 for about 100 yards, a touchdown and a pick. But that field goal's up and good to cut South Alabama's lead to 14-10 as Southern Miss is going to go ahead and kick off to returner of the year. Kyle Clifford here going to take this one to about the six yard line. He is out across the 20. He's got some space up the sideline to the 30. He's out to the 40, to the 50, the 40, 35, 30. Cuts back inside and he is taken down at the 24 yard line. That is a 70 yard kick return for Kyle Clifford. And now Bridge back to pass. He will roll to his right side and he is going to go ahead and take off. He is inside the 20 and will step out of bounds at about the 14 yard line. That's a 12 yard scramble for Brandon Bridge. Now on first and 10, Bridge running the speed option to the left side. He pitches to Jones, and Jones has some room, and he will go into the end zone untouched. Touchdown, Jaguars. That makes it 21-10. South Alabama on top, trying to stay within the top 25, trying to finish within the top 25, potentially even within the top 20. We'll see what happens. But second down and five now. Dangerous pass for uh, Cole Weeks right there, but he does find Marquise Triplett for the catch. That is his second of the day. So second and 12 now. Cole Weeks back to pass, firing on the right side, and dangerous throw. But Cox is going to get that right there as a 12-yard gain for James Cox. He is having a pretty good day so far. Now Weeks third down and inches. Going to be firing another dangerous throw, but he does fry, uh, find, find Chris Briggs right there for the 10-yard gain. And as a first down, five minutes to go here in the first half. Weeks back to pass. He's firing on the left side. Cox untouched, no one around. And James Cox is into the end zone for the touchdown to cut the Jaguars' lead to 21-17. So uh, 4.49 now. Bridge back to pass. He will go ahead and fire on the left sideline. He's got Rush Hendricks, who's going to step out of bounds after a 22-yard gain. Now a second down and 10. Brandon Bridge back to pass. Rolling to his right side. He's got a lot of room to run. Bridge out of the 40, the 30, and he will cut back inside and get tackled at the 25-yard line. Big scramble right there for Brandon Bridge. He's up to 54 yards rushing so far on the day. Doing it all, the senior quarterback is. So we'll see if he can do some more. First and 10. Bridge over the middle. He's got Wes Saxon, who's going to tumble in the end zone for the touchdown. His second catch of the day. Second touchdown catch of the day, that is. And that makes it 28-17, South Alabama on top. So third down and seven. Cole Weeks going to go over the middle on the right side. 
That doesn't make sense over the middle on the right side, but he does go over the middle for James Cox. That's a 14-yard gain. Cox having a very good, uh, very big impact so far in this game. And speaking of James Cox, he's going to get another first down right here, another 15-yard gain for him. And that'll set up this pretty long field goal with about 220 remaining, and it is up and no good. So the uh, Southern Miss Golden Eagles can't quite convert as Brandon Bridge now is going to have to be back to pass. He's got a man deep. It's Jeremy Jones inside the 10, and that is going to be a huge gain right there. Jeremy Jones, the senior, with his first catch of the day. Now first down and goal. Brandon Bridge back to pass, and he will roll to his right side. He fires on the right side for Anka. I believe that's his first catch of his career. Ryan Anka with a 7-yard touchdown. And no bigger one than that to make it a 35-17 game heading into the half. South Alabama sitting pretty so far. No turnovers. Just it, it, It's been looking really good so far. Uh, as you'll see, the time of possession definitely favors Southern Miss, but the score obviously favors us. We're moving the ball pretty fast, and we're, we're doing what we need to do. We're doing what we need to do to win this game. I think that's why we're up by 18. So we'll see what ends up happening in the second half. There's still a lot of football to be played, and we've choked away some leads before. So third and 24, Bridge going to be firing over the middle for TJ Glover, and he is going to get the first down. But after a bad punt, Cole Weeks and T Tyree Bracken are going to go ahead and get a touchdown for Southern Miss after that three and out by the Jaguars. So that is going to make it a 35-24 ball game as Tyree Bracken is in the end zone right there for, I believe that's his first touchdown of the day. But Brandon Bridge now first down and 10. He's going to be firing on the right side. He's got a man and it's intercepted. That is Miller, the defensive back, um, undercutting Matt Harris's route. That would have been a big play right there for the Jaguars, but Denarius Miller intercepts that pass. So Cole Weeks now, and his offense is back to work. He's going to find Briggs right there on the right side. Briggs, that's a nine-yard catch. He is having a pretty good day so far. Now Weeks back to pass over the middle. He's got Harrington, and he is taken down by Terrell Brigham, but not after a 14-yard gain. Cooper Harrington having a good day as well. So now on the screenplay, Briggs has some room on the right side and he breaks a couple tackles and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Southern Miss, 33 yards for Chris Briggs. And that is just going to make this a 35-31 ball game. So first down and 10, Bridge back to pass. He's going deep, lays it out there. He's got a man, Matt Harris, 35 yards. And Matt Harris is having a big game as well. Brandon Bridge having a very phenomenal uh, game so far in his final game as a Jaguar. And Bridge now going to fire on the right side. He's going to find Rush Hendricks for a 20-yard gain right there. Another first down, Hendricks with his fifth catch of the night so far. So second and goal, Bridge. Going to go ahead and roll to the right side. He's got Hendricks. He's going to bowl in the end zone. Touchdown. Rush Hendricks. And that makes it 42-31. So an 11-point lead for South Alabama with a minute remaining in the third quarter as Cole Weeks is going to take this one up the middle on the read option. And he'll be taken down after a 15-yard gain. Cole Weeks. Now a third down and 10 weeks back to pass. And he will go ahead and look over the middle. But that is incomplete. So the Jaguars will be getting the ball back here at the end of the third quarter, though. South Alabama, 25th in the nation, has a 42-31 lead. We'll see if they can hold that 11-point lead uh, throughout this fourth quarter. Been a really high-scoring game. Not much defense whatsoever from either team. So we'll see what we can do here heading into the fourth quarter. Brandon Bridge, eight minutes left in this game. Going to try to run down some clock. And Bridge is going to take this up the middle on the read option for a pretty good gain right there. He's up to 49 yards rushing on the day. And now Bridge is going to go ahead and hand off to Jay Jones on the right side. On third and one, Jones is going to go ahead and bowl ahead for seven yards. And that is a first down for Jay Jones. He's up to 76 yards rushing on the day along with two touchdowns. And now Bridge back to pass. He's going to fire over the middle on the slant route for Kyle Clifford. who's going to get down to the five-yard line. I believe that's Clifford's first catch of the day. And it is a 17-yard one at that. Now Bridge handing off to Jay Jones who's going to get into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Jaguars take a 49 31 lead. The lead is back up to 18, just like it was at halftime. So five minutes remaining for Cole Weeks and Southern Miss on their season, as well as South Alabama and the rest of this uh, Jaguar team on their season. But we'll see who ends up coming out on top. Five minutes remaining. First and 10. Ty Tyree Bracken, it's, I'm still getting used to saying that name, has a lot of room up the right sideline. And one more block could have sprung him the entire way but nonetheless he goes 58 yards to set up this first and goal where Max Mason is going to just stand in the end zone and play some pitch and catch with his quarterback as Cole Weeks throws his fourth touchdown pass of the day and now Southern Miss going for two to try to make this 10 point game and a little early to go for two in my opinion but nonetheless it was an incomplete pass so the lead will be 12 points and now Bri uh, Bridge 
here on first and 10. He's going to fire for Matt Harris on the play action, and he will break a tackle into the end zone, and the Jaguars have sprung this game open. 56-37. Brandon Bridge with his fifth touchdown pass of the day. Now 4.15 remaining. Run the exact same play on the next drive. Matt Harris deep again, 37 yards. Matt Harris is having himself a day, as is Brandon Bridge. He has five touchdown passes thus far, and now Jay Jones up the middle. Going to get in the end zone for his third touchdown of the day. And Jones is having himself a day as well. 63-37. That's either his third or his fourth touchdown, actually. I'm not sure. But 63-37, your score. Now with 11 seconds left, Brandon Bridge. Uh, I just, I don't know. I felt like throwing it, trying to get 70. Yes, I ran up the score. Shoot me for it. Rush Hendricks into the end zone. And Brandon Bridge throws his final touchdown pass as a South Alabama Jaguar. And your final score here in the New Orleans Bowl, South Alabama 70 and Southern Miss 37. So definitely, uh, you know, a, a disappointing loss for Southern Miss. But the celebration is on here in New Orleans. The 25th team, your 25th ranked team in the nation, the South Alabama Jaguars, are New Orleans Bowl champions. Let the confetti fly. It's not the national championship. We're not going to be, you know, setting any, uh, you know, precedents or just, you know, we're not a team for the, for, for the ages. But nonetheless, it's a bold victory, the best season in South Alabama history. And Brandon Bridge goes out on top as the starting quarterback here. His only year as the starting quarterback, but nonetheless leads the team to a 12-2 record and uh, a potentially tw top 20 ranking, if not around 2021. So we'll see what happens next season. Your final score, 70-37. to South Alabama comes out on top. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the offseason. Peace.